now that we have a bit of a basic idea about cost function let's look into what is gradient descent now we need the cost function let's write out the cost function so we have the cost function j okay and over here we will be having a naught a1 and we have one of two n and for each and every value we are having our fx minus y this is the actual y and let's put i as this is msc so there's a square okay so this looks actu actually good now what this y we have put out this two over here is for uh, conventional terms whenever this is differentiated the two will come out and they will just uh, cut each other which will make the convention much more easier so we have the cost function so j is our cost function which will just get help us reduce the value we need to run this cost function to each and every value that we have in our uh, linear regression data set for that we have our optimization algorithm that is gradient descent gradient descent is an iterative optimization algorithm to find the minimum of a function here the function is our lost function gradient descent is used to minimize the msc by calculating the gradient of the cost function the regression model uses gradient descent to update the coefficient of the line by reducing the cost function it is done by randomly selecting values of coefficient and then iteratively update the values to reach the maximum cost function now let's just look into the equation of it so if we look into a of j let's put out the walters or the assignment operator a of j is equal to a of j minus this is the learning rate theta uh, a of j and then we have our cost function a naught a1 this is the formula for gradient descent Oops. this is the complete formula for gradient descent we will be passing the complete equations uh, of this into our data set so we start with some random a0 and a1 value we are going to start with a random a0 a1 is equal to random some random values we keep changing the a1 and a0 to reduce the cost function so after each and every step we are just gonna uh, change the value of a0 and a1 to reduce this cost function until we hopefully end up at a minimum we are going to repeat this step what we have over here which helps us get the actual value of a what is a of j j is just the number of uh, a values we have a naught and a1 so this will just help us get the minimum value that we need to get the best fitting value so that's about the gradient descent if all of these doesn't make you more and more sense it's completely fine we are not going to hard code all of these in our lab sessions but we are going to use our sklearn library which will do all of these tasks for us what we need in this video as a takeaway is what happens in the back end of linear regression so if you see uh, we start from a very high value of the gradients and we reach at a point where the cost function value is the least so we have the to minimize the, the task is just to minimize the cost function a naught and a1 so we reach at a value somewhere over here if we start from over here and if we start from over here so this is a different slope okay so this is the negative slope and this is the positive slope Okay, and our goal is to reach over here. 
this point over here is the uh, place where we have the best value for a0 and a1 which helps us get a uh, very much straight line which will be uh, the best fit for all the points around of it okay particularly for that particular point so that for that particular point for let's say y value is 15k we need y dash value in a way that a0 plus a1 and over here let's say we have uh, somewhere two years of experience we need the value of a0 and a1 in some format which makes it equal to y much more nearby to y is equal to equal to y dash so this is the point which will let us do this and this is known as local optima local optima or the local minimum or local minimum now if the maths behind this is not making sense to you that is completely fine nobody gets the understanding of gradient descent cos function in the first go but just for the takeaway have a good to know about the words that are behind linear regression when we actually implement the linear regression model that is from our lab section that will be from the next next video itself we are going to execute linear regression using our sklearn library so we don't need to code the gradient descent formula algorithm or the cost function formula so we are just going to call out from our sklearn library our linear regression function and it will do all of these for us that's it for this video let's catch up in our next video where we start out the lab sessions